One year after the start of the war in Ukraine, some Republicans are calling for the U.S. to stop sending the Ukrainians money for their fight against the Russians. Conservative lawmakers are complaining the U.S. has already sent far too much aid to Ukraine. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene told the Washington Examiner that she wanted to see the aid cut. Well, me personally, I voted no to every single penny going to the war in Ukraine because Ukraine is not a NATO member nation. And President Biden himself said that we would not be involved in any way, shape or form because they're not a NATO member nation. But yet our country has spent $113 billion on this war against Russia in the country of Ukraine. And at the same time, we are giving them $1.1 billion a month to prop up their government. That's a perfect place to stop spending right there. But other Republicans think U.S. interests in Ukraine are important enough to justify the funding. With respect to Ukraine, I have said uh, many times I fully support uh, our efforts in Ukraine. My wife is from Moldova. Her family lives on the Ukraine border near Transnistria. So we are uh, going to continue to support the effort there. Vladimir Putin cannot be successful in his mission because if he is, if he is successful in Ukraine, all of those former Soviet satellite states in the Eastern Bloc uh, are in danger. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has repeatedly said he thinks House Republicans should stop sending unlimited amounts of money to Ukraine. Most of all, no blank checks for runaway spending. But McCarthy and others have not laid out just how much they want to scale back the support. Other Republicans have said the first step in reassessing Ukraine aid should involve reconsidering why the U.S. is involved in the first place. The worry I have is that we should be working toward de-escalation in Ukraine. I think the posture of our government right now is to escalate the conflict as opposed to de-escalating it. And I think that makes the inflation crisis, the energy crisis, I think it, it leads to some risk that we could have a much bigger, God forbid, even a nuclear war. Most Republicans agree the Biden administration should apply more scrutiny to how the money is being used. But Democrats have argued the funds should keep flowing exactly as they have for the past year. They note that Russia may have succeeded in its invasion if the Ukrainians didn't get so much help from the Americans. Sarah Westwood for The Washington Examiner.